Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an Airbus A330 pilot and today I want to answer a question that I've seen every now and then in the comments beneath my videos and that is why does the A330-200 have a center tank while the A330-300 does not have a center tank? Well, there is actually a very good explanation for this, so let's go right into it. And in order to answer this question, we we need to look less at the aircraft itself than at a flight planning software. So let's bring up Simbrief and have a look at a flight plan for an Airbus A330. So here we have a flight from Frankfurt to Orlando in an A330-300 with 300 passengers and 6,000 kilos of cargo, which really is a typical loadout for an Airbus A330 on such a flight. If we hit the calculate and compare button, you can see that our estimated takeoff weight under these conditions is 232.2 tons. The maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft is 233 tons, therefore significantly limiting any extra amount of cargo or fuel that we could carry on a flight like this. Now, if we have a look at the block fuel required for such flight, it is currently roughly 68 tons. However, the fuel capacity of only the wing tanks and the trim tank in the Airbus A330 combined is 76.5 tons. In other words, we have almost 8 tons of extra fuel capacity while already being at the maximum takeoff weight in these conditions. Therefore, the A330-300 really couldn't make use of a center tank installed on the aircraft. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at the same conditions in the A330-200. So, I'm going to load up the 200 over here. We'll set up the same cost index, the same amount of passengers, and the uh, same amount of cargo. And now let's go ahead and hit calculate and compare and see what we're going to get for this particular flight. Now you can see that in the A330-200, under the very same conditions, we end up with a takeoff weight that is roughly 8 tons less than the A330-300. Now, since the normal passenger loadout on the 200 is lower, so we're looking at around 250 passengers, which we can calculate just now to see what kind of values we are going to get now, we will immediately see that now our estimated takeoff weight at 250 passengers is around 219 tons, leaving us a lot of additional weight, around 15 tons, to take additional fuel. This means that the A330-200 has a vastly increased payload cap capability or range capability under the maximum payload and therefore an installation of a center tank like we see it over here totally makes sense. Now the center tank in the 200 is capable of carrying an additional 32.5 tons leading the total fuel quantity maximum up to 109.2 tons. With this, the aircraft is capable of flying vastly further than the Airbus A330-300. However, even in the 200, if you load a maximum amount of fuel, you will be significantly payload limited due to the maximum takeoff weight limitation of the aircraft. Now, there is one option available on the newer A330s that significantly helps and may make the center tank option viable in the 300 as well, and that is the A330-300 Enhanced. The Enhanced features an increased maximum takeoff weight capability of approximately 10 tons additional maximum takeoff weight. Combine this with a typical holiday carrier layout of the aircraft and you quickly end up with less cargo, an increased maximum takeoff weight and therefore a sensible and useful use case for a center tank. However, the Enhanced only became available very late in the A330's production cycle and older aircraft are typically not retrofitted as it would require enhancements to the landing gear and other structures of the aircraft and therefore most operators have the 233 ton maximum takeoff weight A330-300 where an installation of the center tank simply doesn't make sense since the maximum quantity of fuel will usually not be reached if you've got a decent amount of payload on board and 
already reached the maximum take of weight. I do hope you found this one interesting. Let me know your feedback in the comments below. And as always, if you're up for more, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you really love what I'm doing on this channel, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. Thank you for watching and see you all again on the next one.